Hey guys, it's Lexi, and I'm here with my best friend Carla again. Hi. And today we're gonna be doing a ripped t-shirt DIY. Look. Give it that Kanye look. That Yeezy. Right? But for free at home. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, let's get started. I have my shirt right here. She has hers. I have my mask number one shirt. Okay, so first you're gonna kind of want to cut a little bit, not the whole way there. Don't cut my sheets. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so yeah, go I guess ahead I'll and do the same. Do the same thing. And then as she's doing that, you want to take it and just rip it instead of cutting the rest of it. Just so oh, it gives okay. it that. Just so it gives it like that more natural rip look, and it's not like precise or anything. So. <laughs> you cut it more. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same for the other side. And you wanna rip it. <laughs> and it's okay if it gets a little messy. You want it to look like, you know, vintage, DIY. Or you it look like you did it yourself. <laughs> right. And then for the bottom, you kinda wanna do the same. It depends how long you want your shirt. So cut it wherever you want. For me, let's see. I like it a little bit cropped, so I'll probably cut it like right here. Yeah, I can just, and then you gotta rip it the whole way through. Wow, look at you. Oh, look at you. Oh, yeah. DIY God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> She's not good. And then now for your color. It depends how you want your color. Like, how do you want it? Do you I want, want it like. Neck? So then for this one, you want to just grab the top only and you want to poke a hole right under the line. And you just want to take your scissors and kind of rip it down. Like that. Oh, okay. So then it creates this hole like this. Sally knows the hole right here. Oh yeah. That's number one. <laughs> you could. So then, yeah, just keep, um, you can do as many holes as you want if you want to take your uh, scissors and kind of do a little rip under it. You can do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just going to hold it like this and kind of cut a circle. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> she's messy. And I can kind of like rip it a little just to make it look a little bit. Do as many holes as you like. I kind of like, I want to do like a couple. And you just want to poke a hole and rip it with your hand. And just make it super messy. You know? And then to get like um, one of them to be kind of off the shoulder. Okay. So you just want to cut a hole like this and rip it all the way through. Put it all the way through the sleeve, make a huge hole like this, so that when you put this on, this hole is gonna, this like little sleeve right here is gonna hang off of your shoulder. <laughs> okay. Don't be afraid to make it messy. That's the whole look. That's that's the main reason. Right? Yeah. What's <laughs> Just rip a lot of holes. Another one under it. Okay, yeah, she's. Ooh, make it look like kind of like a scratch. What do you mean? Uh, your shirt got ripped by a wildcat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. Are you gonna like actually cut this? No, you'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it look kind of like a bee. So here's what I have so far. I did um, a hole on the arm, a hole over here. I did this ripped sleeve, and then I just kind of did a pattern of holes up here, kind of distressed. 
possibly like make this one a little bit bigger. You know, make it a little more messy. So you're gonna take the bleach or the toothbrush with the bleach and you're gonna take it right here and you're just gonna start like flicking it on your shirt. Yeah. I actually use this brush. You can use different kinds of And I know at first like you might not see it, but it does look wet. It's probably not. Yeah, I'm seeing a little bit because you know the pictures are just